Okay, the time is uh, 1.40, no, 1.41, yeah, that's the time, um, I just had a time travel dream, and I don't understand, I keep getting these time travel dreams, and the reason why I keep getting them, I think, is because I, it's hard to, it's hard to say this, it's hard to believe, but it's almost like you go back in time and see people while they still alive. In my dreams, you go back in time, and once you go back in time, it's like you try to warn the person early warning before they die. You get a chance to go in the past. In my dream, you get a chance to go in the past and warn them about their death. I've noticed I've been having these dreams since people that I know have been dying. <clears throat> First time I experienced time travel. I mean, time travel, like, in my dream or whatever. Okay. I had this auntie. She passed away from cancer. But I got a chance to go back in my dream years before it happened. And so I tell her, I say, hey, auntie, you're going to die this year, such and such, of cancer and stuff like that. Right. And then, like, you know, she's in, she in the kitchen cooking. She ain't really too much saying nothing. But it's kind of like I warned her about that, and I told her how much I miss, I'm going to miss her in the future. And it's crazy that you had those time travel dreams. And in my dream, I always time travel, and I say, I always try to save the person that's already gone. Okay, I think my first, I wouldn't say that was my first experience with, like, dream time travel, because, um... My um, my neighbor, he was across the street. His name was uh, Mr. Ricky. Uh, it was my friend I went to school with. It was it was his dad. Okay, so Mr. Ricky was like very cool with me. Like he was a a good guy, had a good heart, but he just drunk day in and day out. Okay, so he passes away, and you know what I ended up doing is going over his house before he died and telling him that what day he was going to die or whatever. So I'm telling uh, Rick, I'm like, hey, man, listen, man. I show him the newspaper clipping and everything. I got a chance to bring the newspaper clipping back then in my time travel dream. And I'm telling him, warning him about his death before it happened. Hopefully, hoping that I could change the future of the outcome. That was my whole point in, like, doing all that. I don't know how my mind take me there. Okay, so now let's fast forward tonight well this morning i have a dream about this girl named renee i went to school with back in the day i've been knowing renee i want to say almost since we stayed in uh low-income housing what was that um the Harrison homes uh so i've been knowing her just about that long basically we was all kids okay so um it's just I, like i had dreams of that i can remember from back when i was a child and uh you know, and and, and, and and I'm going to tell you, like, when, when you have those dreams, it's just so surreal, man. It's like, wow, you, you trying to go back in the past to save somebody. You know what I mean? I'm going to tell you all something, too. What happened back in the day, years ago. And this was crazy. I'm going to show you all something. And I was like, you know, when I, because, like, for me, I can hear music in my dream. I don't know why, but I just can't. I say it's almost crazy how I can just hear things in my dream, and it's like, wow, you know, no music be going on while I'm asleep, but yeah, I can hear it in my dream playing this day. Okay, so, weird dream I had back in the day, I'm going to tell you all about. I remember, now, uh, we was kids or whatever, and so, uh, for some odd reason, it was almost like the sky was falling, but the sky was getting wrapped up in, like, car tires or something crazy, man, and it was just... Everything was just crazy in the dream. So I remember this as a child. I want to say the year was like 1984, 85. It could be about 1986. You know, I was probably maybe six, you know what I'm saying, at the time. Or maybe I was like, you know, going on seven. But I remember in this dream, I remember um, it was uh, us kids at the playground. And, you know, we, I went to Harrison School back in the day. And so, like I said, that was around the time we still was living in public housing. And so as the time went on or whatever, you know, I remember having this dream like like back then. I never forgot this dream. Okay, we on the playground. It's these big, big werewolves, and they they just sound so terrifying, right? And so everybody is just taking off running. And so I remember we all ran, the teachers and all. Like, it wasn't a whole lot of us, but, I mean, the, the, you know, 
Well, the playground was packed with a lot of us. Some of us didn't make it in the building. And I remember as back then, the chorus to a song, and the song was going on in my dream, and we thought we was going to die, of course, in the dream. And so as things as, as, as things are going all crazy and stuff like this, we all started singing this. This is what we started singing the chorus to this song. Listen. Now, that's when we all started singing. And as we all started saying, we're going to live forever, I think it was more a dream that you didn't want to die in the dream. That I guess that's what it was. And so we all started singing that. And so as we all started singing that, I, I, I wake, but I'm going to tell you like this, that was a horrifying dream as a kid back in 1986 that I had. So to this day, I'm 39. I'll never forget that dream. Okay, so this is another eerie dream that I had, like I say, today. Well, yeah, basically today, this morning. Okay, Renee is somebody, like I said, I knew her. We grew up together. Uh, I know her, some of her family. Like, she was, you know what I'm saying, a good person, you know what I'm saying? So what ended up happening was, you know, um, well, she ended up, like, getting killed. You know what I'm saying? It's like she ended up getting killed because she walking across the street. The street that I walked across, I don't know how many times. I don't know how many times she's walked across the street, but for some unknown reason, somebody hit her, and then after somebody hit her, somebody runs her, somebody, after she get hit, she, I don't think she had died yet, and so uh, the, the next car ran her over. That's how fast these stupid-ass drivers drive, and so it kind of pissed me off. So in this dream, I got a chance to go back, but I heard, you know what I'm saying, a different song in this dream. I'm going to try to go to the song that I heard in the other dream, you know what I mean? Trying to get to this song. I'm, I'm figuring it out. Um, give me a minute. Still trying to look for it. Still looking for it. Okay. Now. That's the part that I heard, because it's like me and one of my homeboys, we knew we was from, like, the future. So, as we was coming back, and we saw two girls, one of the girls still alive, her name Maria. Light-skinned girl named Maria, she's still alive. And, uh, you know, Renee wasn't, so they was on this porch or whatever. And so, we walking up, and this is what I heard, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I get to talking to Renee, and I say, Renee, I got something to tell you. And I was like, uh, let me talk to you for a minute. First, I told her. I had never told her this in life, but I told her this after she passed, of course. But this is in a time travel dream. I said, well, Renee, I'm going to tell you like this. I love you. And uh, I got some bad news for you. And I told her, I say, <clears throat> and in the future, you're going to get hit by a car. And you're probably going to be killed. So she holding on to me and she crying and I'm like, yo, this is, you know what I'm saying? So as she holding on to me and she crying or whatever and she was like, for real, this is really going to happen. I was like, yeah, I guess I came back from the future, back from the past. I know, I was like, I came back from the future to try to warn you of what's going to happen to you. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully that'll stop you from getting hit or whatever. So if you got the knowledge of what what's going to kill you, Pretty much in this dream, if you got the knowledge of what's going to kill you, and I can tell you what the knowledge is, what's going to kill you, maybe I can make that not happen. You know what I mean? So we sat there in 